Hello everybody, it's Angela. I'm here today to share with you my contribution to the Five on a Dime Challenge for August. Now this challenge was put together by Gina um, from the Firefly Studio 67. Um, she invited Nikki Adigan um, as well as Martina from Tinkila and myself um, to partake uh, monthly on a five on five on a dime challenge. So this month um, Martina chose the five items that we are going to be using. Um, we try and make them items that you would have yourself. So for August we've got to use um, book pages, um, any book pages really, bits of fabric, washi tape, one form of mixed media and paper scrap. So that's what our challenge is for this month. Right, so if I have a look at number one, book pages, they can be any kinds of book pages. So I, they could be even music paper, if you, if that's the book. Um, be normal books. I've got a page here from um, Edith Holden. <laughs> Um, it could be anything and I'm going to sh um, show you what we're going to do with that today. Right, so let's get started. Um, right, so if you take, for example, the Edith Holden page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say to you take one of these pages or whichever page you have, fold it in half. Make sure you match up the corners nicely or not, if that's what you prefer. Um, fold back the side of the page like that um, and I'm going to show you how I make my um, pockets from old book pages so that's the first step um, you could do it if you take it like this you could trim the edge or not I'm not going to trim the edge um, match the corners again and then fold that down let's do the other side like that okay so that's step one there we have it right step two um let's just take one of these so far don't be doing too many things i'm going to use one of my mixed media which in this case is white acrylic gesso you can use white paint if you want and what i'm going to do is just put a little bit of that um, lightly on the bottom of this page but more importantly on the fold don't need to be neat or anything um, and at the top over here so we're going to stamp on that when it's dry right so that's the first step so you put that aside to dry now obviously for the purpose of time saving, um, I have already done that, so I'm going to put that one aside um, and I'm going to get out one that I have gessoed already. So as you can see, it gives it a nice uh, different texture, it sort of dulls the various areas that you might be wanting to apply other things to stand out on, so that's what we have there. Um, so we still have it, I've just got this folded the other way, this is nice and dry now. So um, what you would do now is, is I like to stitch the edges. You don't have to stitch the edges, I just like the effect that it has. So I would, when, with this particular one, I would stitch straight across there. Um, and then uh, I would also stitch a little bit along there because you won't be able to do that. Um, and then I stitch all the way around right so you can do any stitch you like um, I'll just put that over there I've done this already so here we have it I've, I've zigzagged here in a gold thread um, so that's where we are now all right so um, moving along I'm going to take my stencil so I'm going to use this pebble one and I'm going to use shabby shutters got fluff everywhere um, distress ink and we're just going to rub a little brush or whatever you use to apply your ink um, I want to put a little bit of it over here um, and I'm gonna put 
some more of it over there. Not too much. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And again, this is just not a perfection job. This is just a rough thing. We're going to add to it. All right. So put that aside. Put the, that away. And that's what we have at the moment. So we've put another layer onto that as well. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of script stamp. I've got a few of these. This is just a little one. Um, and I'm just taking my uh, brown archival ink. Press that in there. And I just want little bits here and there. I'm just pressing here and there. Again, this is random. We're not going for perfection here. All right, so there we've got a couple of mixed media bits applied. We've put some gesso on, we've stenciled, and we've done a little bit of stamping. So we've done more than one. All right, so that's already make, giving it a little bit of a different dimension. Okay, so now what we need to do is um, layer up a, a little bit of a decoration here. So let's um, have a go. I, We've got to, we've used the book page, we've used um, the mixed media. We need to do some paper scraps now, bits and pieces, um, fabric still, and um, a bit of washi tape. So let's look for a few scraps now. Um, what I'm going to do is, I've got a couple of things that I'm tearing here. So I've got a bit of music paper. Um, let's just see a couple bits of other bits. I'm just thing that up there, just give it a bit of a very lightly. Um, we want to start getting some. Here's a little green bit. Just neaten that off. Alright, so we've got a couple of bits here. Put that, uh, rearrange. This is a playing game thing of how you want it. I think that's what I want it. Line that up. Right. I've put aside here some. These are uh, Sizzix die cuts from Tim Holtz that I do. This is just with scrap paper. Um, oh, let's. This needs just a bit of glue stick or glue just to keep that down. There we go. Um, and then let's just do some rearranging. So I'm going to bring pink into the equation here. A little bit of light green. Let's see what we're going to do. I want to. I've got some cut out flowers here and loads of butterflies that I've cut out. So let's just put that aside. Let's see what I want here. I'm going to use this. So let's put, move this a bit down. So how are you all today? Have you been enjoying our Five on a Dime um, series? Um, let me know what you think about, about it so we get some feedback. Right, so I've got that there. I want to add a um, piece of paper on the side, I think. So it's just a scrap that I have here from, I think this is actually from one of Tracy's. So let's just put that at the back here. I just want some contrast. Like that. There we go. Up a bit. Down a bit. Layer it all up. Contrast. 
That one can go there, that one can go over, that one there. Okay, so far so good. Oops. Come on, music piece. Alright, so we've got some layers there like that. Okay, we are going to glue it all down, obviously. So at the moment, I'm just getting a hang of what I want to do, right? And of course, I want a butterfly, so. Couple of pink ones. Yes, that one. Right, so that can go there. Abby. Right, um, right, so we've got our fabric scraps, we've got our mixed media. I want a few bits of fabric, which I've just decided I'm going to use a bit of the sorry silk. I've got some green, I've got some pink, um, and I'm going to put that there but I'm going to stitch it um, and then I've taken another piece of paper scrap which I have just concertinaed over there when I'm going to put that in there like that all right so that's I'm not going to get up and do it because I have done that so here I've sewn the two together with a piece of concertinaed paper put a little bit of cheesecloth there and a button which I've just sewn on so that's what I've done there so when I glue it I'll make sure that the little bit of green sticks out like that. All right, so I'm quite happy with that now. Um, and I'll show you what we do with the washi tape in a minute. So let's just put that aside, get hold of the glue. And let's just deconstruct this <laughs> quickly. Um, oh, I don't think I've... Obviously, you don't have to distress ink everything. That's just if you like it or not. Everybody's different and not everybody is a fan of that. So you can use whatever glue you like as well. My Mine is at the end of its days here. Right, so let's just move this along, that out. Oh, these are the best way to deal with this. Put that on there. At the end of this bottle, which is never good, so we just put it in there somewhere. Right, so the best way to deal with this is a bit messy, but at least you get it all covered. Put it the glue on your hand. I think Andrea showed us that at Artie Maze. So there we go, we stick that one down, that's one down. A little bit more glue. It's always nice peeling off this glue off your hand when it's dry. <laughs> but it's much easier doing this than it is trying to get the glue on these small little leaves. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna put that right over there whoops pink one right whoops this little leaf's going in the wrong direction okay now what we'll do is i will stick this one down first like that I'm going to stick in the flower. Gosh, I just realized I don't even have my glasses on. I'm doing all right. Um, so we'll put the flower there, like that. Just bear in mind the butterfly's got to go there, so I don't want it too high. Then I will overlap the music sheet a little bit. And put the green one underneath that. How's that? 
There we go. Maybe that one got up a bit because I want to still put the ribbon pieces of fabric underneath. Let's just make sure that this is all stuck down. And don't be afraid to use your fingers. Right. This is the bit for the butterfly. It goes over there, just at the edge of the page, because you've got a pocket there. And then, of course, we're going to make sure that we have a bit of this green peeping over as well. So this will just go at the bottom there. Okay. Very gunge. Oh, I forgot something. I wanted to put a little bit of a lacy bit. So again... Back onto the hand. Oh, it's all back in now. Right, so let's just put that um, a little bit to the side, I think, and then we can. Just let a little bit of that peeping through. Oops. <laughs> right, so there we go. There we have a pocket. All right, so we could just, and I'll show you quickly how to do a quick tag as well. So there we go, that's that. That must just dry nicely now. So we've got that pocket already from our book page. Now the way to do um, a tag um, and I had a page. What did I do with it? Oh, who knows? Right, so just to take a, a page out of my book, you know, physically, literally, <laughs> quickly. Um, and the way I would do a tag from the book is just to fold it into three. So, um, a third. so there we go, and there we go. Now what you do is, you would just take your glue stick, right, put some in the middle, some on top of that, and there you have a nice sturdy page, right, just like that. Now, what you can do is you can use that just as it is um, and let us do that. Um, and what we'll do is we will just take some bits and pieces that we have here. So let's start with oh, some of this. So I have this piece here. See how long we have uh, oh that's perfect that can go right there we've got the text coming through nicely and we might want a little bit of green so this is trial and error you've just got to have a play and see how you you go with it so i'm just using up scraps that i have all right so that can go like that um i want something on the top there. So let's look for a bit of music paper. I just love the way this music paper plays. It's got a different feel. So we put that at the top there, that at the top there. Um, right. Let's do that quickly. So we'll take our glue stick because we're going to stitch around it. Of course, that's what we do. I do. You don't have to, of course, but I would suggest you use a better, uh, a, a more reliable glue than a glue stick if you're not going to stitch. I would say a stick with something that's, you know, you can as accountable or really going to stick down. Right, get out the distress ink because you know I can't help myself. Um, just distress those edges quickly. Just quickly and then of course 
fit on the music paper. Don't worry about the edges, we're going to cut those off. Oh, wrong lid. Okay, so down we go with the music paper. Stick that at the top there. And then we're going to do that with the other paper. So we've got a bit of green, we've got a bit of music paper, we've got a bit of text. Right, now what you do is it's firming up really nicely now and that's great. So what I would suggest is let's just, before you take the sides off, let's just um, cut that off like that. Then if you don't know this already, which I'm sure you do, just to make sure it's the same on both sides, go and do that and then turn it over. Doing brilliantly without the glasses today, I must say. Um, and there we have the start of a tag. Now, what I would do is, um, again, you can take cut out flowers. You can take a little bit of whatever you have. So you could put something like that on there. Um, you could have a look in your uh, flower stash that you've cut out from scrapbook pages because we are doing book pages. So let's find something suitable in here. So I don't really want blue. Um, but maybe mauve. Mm, there's a little bit of mauve. No, I'm not really feeling that one. Remember, you can layer them up as well. So, say for example, um, there's something there, there's something there, like that. Okay. Here's a little one. That's a bit much. And then over here. And put another piece of green or that can go behind and you can put these on top I think that's better um, so we can just layer it up like that yeah okay so let's do that then right so back to the I use the more reliable glue here so back on the hand Gosh, I was really at the end with this glue. I'm, I'm not a fan of this glue when it comes to the end of the bottle, to be honest. Um, don't know how you guys feel about it, but it seems to get really thick and bubble out. And I spend my life putting um, acetone in the bottle. And it can be messy as well. Right, but it sticks. That I will give it. Right, so let's put our next one on. Gosh, I hope it's not too dark here. I hope you can all see me. Um, there we have it there. And then another one. There. And there we have a very quick tag. Now, of course, the day wouldn't be complete, the task, I should say. Oh, it's really nice and firm now, um, without a little bit of distressing. Yep. Right, and then very quickly, last but not least, what we'll do is we will find, <laughs> oh, here we go, thank heavens, just wanted to put on one of these um, goodies, the whole protectors here, the, is that in the middle, yeah, that's about it. So let's do that quickly with the cropper tile. Here we go. 
All right, so we've got a punch. We have our tag made, look at that. And now just to finish it off with a final piece of fabric, we can just put, um, let's not go with green, let's go with a bit of pink. Um, how long is that green? Let's see, right, we've got two bits here. There we go. Oh, I have forgotten something already. Um, I haven't put on the washi tape yet. <laughs> right, so we'll have to do that as well. So let's just tie this up at the top. Right, so we've got a, two bits of fabric there. Now I've got this lovely washi tape, which is little flowers. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take little bits, put it at the bottom there. Uh, wrap that around. It's just on the edge there. Um, and then I'm going to take my little green one, another green one, just quite a bit spotty, but you can hardly see that. Oops, this is not going too well. <laughs> Between the washi tape and the glue, I'm like stuck. Right, and then we'll just put another piece. Just, um, no, just over there. Like that. Right, so there we have it. There's a tag. We can slot that into there, like that. Um, and we've made a nice little pocket and a tag out of book pages, washi tape, which is over there, little bits of fabric, um, paper scraps all over the place. And um, what was the other thing? Oh, mixed media, which we've used to stenciling um, gesso and a bit of stamping so there we have it so we'll just push that in there and of course um you can put this on your book page you can stick it on your book page let me see i don't think i've got a book page here but if you stick this on a book page you can stick it on three sides and stick something behind or um, or you can stick it completely in on your book page all right so there we go um Oh, lastly, I'd like to say to everybody, uh, there will be three other ladies that will have also um, presented their um, contribution to the challenge. I'll put their links below. Please do go and have a look. They are phenomenal artists in the junk journaling community. Or most of you should probably know them anyway. Um, please pop over and have a look what they have to offer. I'm sure you'll be enthralled. Um, I'd love it if you'd um, leave a like and if you've got any comments or let me know what you think about our five on a dime challenge um, and thank you so much for um, watching me today I really appreciate all of your contributions and inspiration and comments it's been lovely thank you bye